building off of what you did Tuesday night? Yeah, like I said, um, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll be working out a lot on my game, and I feel like um, it's getting uh, it's getting away, it's getting a good way. So I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing and help help the team to win. Obviously, you guys did really well offensively, but as a team, what were the behind the struggles defensively? Alfonso and Kofi. Um, I feel like in both screens, we gotta have more communication. Um, we gotta work more on um, both screen coverage. Um, but other than that, we clean. We uh, we have good cleanups uh, on pick, uh, in the drives um, and and three. So we just gotta be, get get better on um, both screens coverage. Yeah, like like Fonzo said, I'm used to you know no lockdown personnel more. I feel like I'm losing a lot on um, open three, not open threes, um, especially in transition where you know we emphasize on um, running back and defense and relocating guys on um, the ball screen defense. I think I'll um, be better. I just feel like pe people forget the fact that that kid, um, he's a pro. You know, he's a really good player, a really good scorer, and he came out here and he did what he do, man. You know, um, obviously we had a lot of more, but that kid's a really special kid, man. A lot of respect for him. <coughs> Just what has this been like for you guys, having guys coming in and out of the lineup that are so important to you? How do you deal with that? How do you try and learn from it, I guess? Uh, it's, a, it's a challenge, um, you know. Um, it's hard to play with guys that you that you have you know, that's chemistry with, um, the, guys that, the guys that you have experience with, um, you know, but it, it's also a, a good challenge in a way where we can learn from it, you know. It's a lot of, a lot of guys that, that's coming in right now, they, they got to step up, um, they're getting experience, um, and it's really important right now, especially early in the season, you know. Um, who knows what's, what, what the future holds, you know, who knows what could happen, um, you know, it's good that guys are ready and they're in, in the situations right now, so whenever they get put in later on in the season, they can step up. Yeah, this is for the both of you guys, I guess. So, you guys have had to battle through a lot of these games with guys being in that lineup, close games, Kofi and Alfonso. How much can you guys just learn from these experiences, and how much tougher have you gotten from these games? I feel like the, the emphasis is on winning time. Um, you know, it's a certain time when you know, when the clock when the, when the clock hits um, four and under, um, we we emphasize winning time. This is time where we give it our best, we give it everything we got. You know, I feel like guys, we should be rallying around each other, and you know, we we try to actually like you know lay it out, lay it all out, out, out there on the wood. Um, you know, we we fire for each other, and mm -hmm. that's going to be big time. You know, coming leading, leading down where everybody's locked in, and once that time goes out on the clock, you know, we we, we fire the hardest throughout the game, and when four, four minutes come, we know yeah, we got to dig a, a little bit deeper. You know, all these guys they're willing to sacrifice, and it's a great it's a great look. Mm -hmm. For Kofi, you got Luke back tonight, did some really good things in the second half, hit him for that kick out three. How much trust do you have in him already just being a freshman and how much has he earned out of that from you guys? Um, he's, a, he's a really special kid, um, you know. He's a freshman but he doesn't act like it at all. You know, um, he's a really good leader already, um, you know, as a young as a young man on the team. Um, he tries to talk a lot, you know, he tries to, you know, compete. He really competes a lot, you know, whether he's, he's on the scout team, whether he's on the team. Um, playing team. Um, he's just a really good player. He's a really good person. You know, I feel like it, it, it's hard when you find freshmen that come in and they can like communicate like that and they're so out, out, like, out, outgoing. And, you know, he, he hustles, man. He fights. Mm -hmm. He's a really, he's a really hard fighter. Yeah. Kofi, just what did you like me about that high low Daniel working with Ben? Because it seems like he was able to get you the ball pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, man. Ben's a stud, man. I, I feel like um, Ben's one of those players where if you tell him to do something, here he's gonna get the job done. You know, like Ben, he listens. He's a really good learner. Um, you know, that's his most important um, asset, man. You know, he comes out there, coach tells him, tell him to do something, and he just he just tries his best best to do it. Um, you know, he's one of those guys where it doesn't matter if he's scoring, it doesn't matter what he's doing, he's gonna play right, he's gonna rebound, he's gonna make the right play. Um, you know, he's my, he's been my roommate for three years, and I just trusted him that he was gonna make the right play and find me. I was just, I just kept trying to be ready, I kept putting myself in a position to be successful. Kofi, three assists the last two games. I think that's the most you've had in two games. I mean, has it been a point of emphasis for you to look more to pass out? And what's that do for your team? Yeah, definitely, man. I feel like um, it would be ignorant for me not to look out. Um, guys really um, double team me, triple team, triple team me hard. Um, you know, and, but you got guys like Alfonso, you got guys like Hutch, you got all those guys that's really, really good shooters and really good shot makers. Um, you know, it's, it's hard not to pass the ball to them, so it would be selfish of me, you know. So I got to find those guys and elevate them the same way they elevate me, you know, the same way they look inside. When I had a triple team, I had a double team, I got to pass it back out to them and get them open shots. Alfonso, Ken, on the flip side of that, how much difference does it make when Kofi's got 38 points on 15 and 19 shooting and he can be that steady presence in the paint? 
I mean, it, it makes the game easier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, like, he's going to get four, three, four guys on him, and he's going to let us uh, give him open shots. So I feel like every time we get the ball in the post, it's going to be just uh, easy for us to, to get open shots, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, Alfonso, this is for you as well, too. Have you played with anyone in your career who's as dominant in the paint, and how much easier does that make it for you to get shots on the perimeter that are open? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the toughest and biggest guy I've ever played with. Kofi, Alfonso told us the other night you call him Gunman. Mm -hmm. When did you come up with that, and why? Um, well, it's, kind of, it's kind of a thing. You know, like, uh, somebody, like, Back home in Jamaica, like the guys that the criminals, they're called gunmen. You know, the, 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 the criminals. <laughs> they're called gunmen. You know, when I see him, like it's the way he shoots it. You know, um, some people say sniper, some people say sniper, whatever that is. Like I, I call him a gunman because that's a Jamaican term for a sniper, basically. You know, um, he shoots the cover off him, man, as you can see, man. You know, so like it was just natural. Once I see him getting on the roll, you know, he just like he just came out one day and I stuck with it. He likes it, so. You know. For Alfonso, you know, everyone that's ever played uh, at any level kind of knows what a heat check is. You know, in your mind when you're when you're in that zone and you're thinking about the heat check, is that like you know I'm I'm, I'm taking the shot no matter what, or that's are you still thinking you know that's in the flow of the offense? Yeah, he's taking the shot no matter what. He's gonna, <laughs> he's a, he's a shooter. That's uh, that's Alfonso. He, he's gonna try to tell you something different right now, but he's gonna shoot that. Like, <laughs> if he's light, like, he's gonna shoot it. Coach said, Coach said like. Um, when you come here, like, I want you to shoot it when you open. So, like, in my mind, I feel like if I'm hot, I'm going to shoot it when I feel like I'm going to make it. So, <laughs> you know, it. Hey, man, every time he shoots it, I'm, I have a smile on my face. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get the offensive rebound, but he has, the, the clip he's shooting it right now, man, I have all the confidence in him, man. And if he takes a shot, it's obvious that he thinks he can make it. And, you know, that's all for him, man. Anything else for the players? Thanks, guys. All right, thank you, guys.